Okay, I wanted to take you on a little tour of some of the darkroom equipment that I've got for sale. Um, these are uh, Kinderman tanks from Germany. It was my favorite kind of developing tank for 35 millimeter and 120 film. The tops on them are very leak proof, so you never get uh, chemicals on the counter when you're developing. The reels are by Hughes, H-E-W-E-S, in the UK. And they're very foolproof, which was a good thing for me because I could screw up things pretty easily. Um, they're very well made, much better made than any other alternative now or then. Uh, these are the 120 version right there. Uh, some tongs for the fixer. I never like to touch the fixer with my fingers. These are Costiners. Some of you may remember Ed Costiner. There's... Uh, a couple of darkroom little pharmacy bottles. This is a Jobo 2400 film developing tank for 120 film. I don't think I ever used this. I think this was just a tester for the something that was sent to me at some point. Um, a lot of extra reels. These Hughes reels were marketed in the United States under the name King Concept for a while. They're still available at B&H Photo. They cost about $30 each, I think. Um, and then, well, the ubiquitous uh, Gray Lab 300 process timer that was a fixture in pretty much every darkroom back in the day. This one's relatively new, uh, hasn't been used a whole lot. A couple of uh, process thermometers, dial type process thermometers. These are not intrinsically linear, but you can adjust them very easily for any particular temperature. So if you want them at 68, which is obviously 20 degrees centigrade, you can just adjust them to be perfectly accurate at that temperature. Uh, to calibrate them, I used a, a Kodak darkroom thermometer, which is intrinsically a lot more accurate than the dial type thermometers. Uh, let's see, this is a uh, darkroom enlarging timer for the enlarger, made by LPL in Tokyo. This was my favorite kind of enlarging timer easiest to use for me and easiest to set uh, just fast. You can use it quickly. Um, I liked the Kearsarge timers too, but I never owned one of those. Uh, with a foot switch there. And then we come to uh, some Darkroom Innovations uh, BTZS tubes for developing 4x5 film. These were developed by Phil Davis to control the amount of developer that uh, got on the film and to make the the uh, development very even, probably greater evenness of development than any other method of, of uh, developing 4x5 film. The, the Jobos are a little more uh, convenient to use, but these are a little more accurate. Um, the custom proofer I've never actually used. The, there's also some uh, archival print files for 120 film and a three ring binder, an archival three ring binder. This is the 8x10 BTZS tube for developing 8x10 film. Um, then we come to this uh, Leonard temperature control valve for the darkroom. Uh, Leonard valves were made with bimetal sensors, which was similar to what you find in uh, high-end bathroom shower installations, uh, unlike a lot of the darkroom valves, which used a more primitive diaphragm uh, temperature sensing mechanism. Um, very nice unit. The uh, um, grain focuser is the one developed by Professor Koana in Japan. I bought this used, I think, but it's in, it's in pretty good condition. Um, the easel is a Saunders Master easel, and I liked it because it was adjustable, so you could get the blades perfectly square. I would use a, a drafting triangle to get the blades perfectly square when I was uh, getting everything aligned, the, the enlarger and everything. Uh, then we come to a couple of enlarging lenses. I should have taken the covers off. Sorry about that. Anyway, the one on the right is an L Nikkor. 105 millimeter f5.6 for uh, any kind of film up to about, I think it goes up to 6x9. I think that'll cover 6x9. 
I'm not mistaken, at least six by seven. The other one is a Rodenstock Apo Rodagon 50 millimeter f2.8, which is a pretty nice normal lens for 35 millimeter. And uh, finally, um, a Highland densitometer in the box uh, with an instruction manual and the calibration patches that you need to use the machine effectively. So that's about it. That's what I've got.